What's going on everybody? This is Ultima iDevice Vids, and today in this video we're going to be checking out 20 free Cydia tweaks for iOS 11. So without any further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So first up we have Better 5 Column Home Screen. This tweak will allow you to have 5 icons going across on the home screen. So as you can see right here, you can fit many more icons on each page using this tweak. Next up we have Volume Percentage. This tweak will add a percentage to your volume pop-up just like this. As you can see right here, it's just another way to basically tell how loud your volume is. Next up, we have Transparent Dock. This tweak will just make the background on the dock disappear so you can see right through to your wallpaper. So it goes for a very clean look on the home screen. Quick Power Mode will allow you to easily enable and disable Low Power Mode just by tapping on the battery indicator in the status bar. As you can see right there, just like that, Low Power Mode is enabled by the yellow indicator. Tap it again, and it's disabled. Delete Forever will allow you to permanently delete photos with ease. So basically how it works in iOS normally is when you select the delete icon in the Photos app, it allows you to delete the photo, and then after that, if you want to permanently delete it, you have to go into the recently deleted album and delete it there. But this tweak adds a option, a new option called permanently delete photo, and if you select this, the photo is permanently deleted. It doesn't go into your recently deleted, as you can see right here, it's just permanently deleted. So it allows you to easily permanently get rid of photos. Simple LS iOS allows you to change the way that your lock screen looks. As you can see, my uh, time, day of the week, and date are shifted over to the side, and I just think it goes for a much cleaner look. Now, there's a, there's a few different ways that you can make this tweak look, which you can configure in the settings. Now, while we're on the topic of the lock screen, here's Roman passcode. This tweak will basically make the icons on your passcode screen Roman numerals, so it definitely goes for a classy, refined look. Alkaline allows you to customize the way that your battery indicator looks. So as you can see right there, we have a theme, and if you hop over to the settings and jump into Alkaline, there are a few themes that it comes with in here. And speaking of status bar tweaks, next up we have Zeppelin. This allows you to customize your carrier name slash indicator in the status bar. As you can see right there, it basically is the Apple logo for me. And if you jump over to settings and open up Zeppelin and go into theme, there are many that it comes with in here as well. Lots of cool ones to try out. Once you make a change in Zeppelin, just make sure you respring for the change to take an effect. Next up, we have Dark Messages iOS 10. Now this tweak does function on iOS 11, as you can see, even though it has iOS 10 in the name. But this tweak provides your messages application with a dark mode, as you can see, looks great inside the conversation view and in the list view. This is just great for using your messages application at night, or maybe you just prefer a darker theme. Swipe selection allows you to easily manipulate text. So basically, it allows you to move your cursor through a body of text just by swiping on the keyboard area. And as you can see right there, the cursor will move just like that. It's very precise. You can really get to exactly where you want with it. And that definitely works very well. You could also highlight text by starting to swipe on the delete key or the shift key in the direction that you want. So for example, as you can see right there, I could start swiping on the delete key and it will highlight text just like that. And I can do the same thing with the shift key as you can see going the other way like so. Now iPhones with 3D Touch do have the ability to use the trackpad to you know m move through text. However, the swipe selection method, I found that it's more precise and you know basically you could just get exactly where you want to easier with it and I personally prefer it. Photo size allows you to easily tell how much photos and videos are taking up within the photos app. So if you go ahead and hit the select button and basically just start selecting photos, as you can see right there it'll tell you right next to how many items you have selected how much space is being taken up. So if you select multiple, as you can see it'll continue to add to that and basically just tell you how much space all of those photos and videos are taking up. So definitely good for managing storage on your device. Spot clear on close will automatically remove any text that is present inside the spotlight view as soon as you search something and select it. So for example, if I just go ahead and search up settings here, then I tap on the result, it takes me to the result. But now when I go back into spotlight, as you can see, that text is completely gone. Normally in iOS, that would still be there. So this tweak just keeps your spotlight search clean. No page dot seven will completely remove the page dots indicator at the bottom of the home screen. So this just goes for a cleaner look on the home screen. Charge pulse will make the battery indicator in the status bar pulsate when your device is plugged into charge. I'm just gonna go ahead and plug my device in here. And as you can see right there, it's a very subtle effect, but it's definitely nice, that little subtle pulsating in the status bar. Nougat folder will bring the folders from Android Nougat to iOS. And if you guys don't know what those look like, it looks something like this. So it's basically just the folder previews have this nice effect of basically displaying the first four icons in this new way. And, you know, opening up the folder, it's, it's the exact same thing, of course. But again, it's just a nice refresh to the way that the home screen looks with folders. Safari full screen scrolling will basically make your Safari scrolling experience more engaging. So when you go ahead and slide down like this when you're scrolling down, as you can see, both the top and bottom bars will completely hide. When you scroll up, they'll reappear. Normally in iOS, only the bottom one hides and the top one just kind of gets smaller, but this one completely hides both just to, again, make you more immersed in your content. 
Next up, we have Badge Customizer. This tweak allows you to customize the color, size, and position of badges on iOS. As you can see right there, on my Messages application, I have one badge. However, as you can see right there, it's bigger than it normally is. It's blue, and it's actually on the bottom left corner. So normally, they're on the top right. So again, you can customize all this to your liking. Just jump over to Settings after you install it, open up Badge Customizer, and you have all the options in here. So you can configure everything to your liking. Uh, with the color and the positioning and the size so uh, once again badge customizer same status bar changes something that bothers some people in ios basically the size of the status bar when you're on the home screen or inside of applications is slightly smaller than it is when it appears on the lock screen this tweak basically just makes them both the same and it makes it the smaller version which appears again on the home screen and apps so as you can see right there when i go to my lock screen the status bar is the exact same size as it was on home screen it's no longer slightly bigger Smooth cursor makes it so when you're typing, your cursor just glides right across uh, from letter to letter, as you can see. It's no longer kind of an abrupt animation. It just smoothens things out. It's a very subtle effect, but I just think it's a nice touch. All right, guys, that pretty much wraps it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thank you guys all so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out.